Jerome's here. We stand directly across the street from the Rompo Night Market and the Rompo Complex. I think I need a kebab. Tiptoe across the street carefully and uh, see what we can find. Hey, how you doing? Ray Rome's here again. I made it across the street safely. It's tiptoe behind me there to uh, the Rompo Night Market and uh, see if I can get me a kebab I'm hankering for. What we can find here to eat. Here. We got some uh, chicken. We can have for full. Uh, some Thai food. I'm kind of getting a little Thai food burnt out, if you will. The stalls are already closed. I know where I'm going, and I know what I'm going to get to eat. But I figured I'd take you on this visual tour of a food stall night market here. I'm going to double back. Again! Again! On a Saturday night, look at this. Pizza, pizza. Mm -mm -mm. That big one looks good. Got some meats here, all kinds of good stuff. Can't figure out what we're gonna get. More Thai food, which I really, really, really love. However, that's all I need to get a smoothie right here. This big fella's gonna get himself a smoothie. We got some squid on a stick. I don't know about that. Hi, how are you? Just not down with squid on a stick. I think I am going to get another place for smoothies. Got a bit of a smoothie war going on here at the Rompo Market. Or at least a peaceful one. Two smoothie vendors can coexist in the same close proximity and have customers and be happy all at the same time. Life is a beautiful thing when you really want it to be. Kebabs are, are busy this evening. I'm in a line. I'm in a line, but I'm willing to wait because they are so good. This guy's just, just sweating for his one. He just wants his, he just wants his kebab, man. At home for the evening. Big fella over there is waiting. Oh, look at this. He got a watermelon smoothie with a handle. See, even big fellas can be, can have a soft side and use a little plastic handle to carry a smoothie around. Made a Nike purchase, so he's a man. And he's sporting Nike. Nike shoes, big Nike fan, apparently. Lots of people enjoying their food here. Well, I wouldn't say lots of people, but people are seemingly enjoying their company of their family, friends, and loved ones. There goes Mr. Big Guy with his watermelon smoothie off into the night. Let's hope we can avoid the Rompo complex of bar girls. You got some with that smoothie in hand. He's a man with a mission, and he's destined not. get into the wayward ways of bar girls. Oh, here we go. Got a couple less customers here. It's looking good. It's looking good. All right, all right, here we go. We're going to ask me my order next. It's going to be very exciting. Swati Gop. Big. Spicy. Big one. Big one. Spicy. Just like you made the last one for me, which was delicious. Pops here shaving off some chicken. Getting ready for the next one. Oh yeah. He knows what he's doing here. A lot of noise involved for drama, I'm sure, but he got the job done here. Look at this. Onions, tomatoes, lettuce. There goes ketchup. Ketchup, which I'm gonna pass on. I don't know what that is, mayo, I presume. And there's the sassy sauce. There's the sassy sauce. Gotta have sassy sauce on our kebab. Putting that layer of grilled chicken on. Just gonna twist that up like it's a big old fatty. Let's watch that go down. Oh no, she said he needs more meat on that. She said he needs more meat on that kebab. And she has it. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful thing. Repositions the repositions the spit. Getting ready for my shavings. Look at that, look at that. Rolled that up like a pro. He rolled that up like a pro. Hey, how you doing? Ray Rome's here, I, uh, 
I predicted I would burn through this uh, this uh, chicken kebab and seven bites, but I'm more on like 14 right now and only halfway through it. Nonetheless, I'm gonna press on. I'm gonna get in the belly of the beast or put the beast in my belly and finish this up. Here's Rompo Night Market. Ray Realms back, back again. I just uh, killed the kebab. It uh, was more of a challenging. The trick was keeping it all intact while eating it and I found out a method that worked for me at least and that was taking equal bites from both ends because when you're biting one end you're pushing the chicken and all the good stuff including the sassy sauce out the other side. Maintain that bite on the other end you get a nice little bit of a gushy little bite of kebab and then you bite the other end go on so forth. Well we got like a tuk tuk delivery guy just rolling on the scene he's doing a donut right here right behind me and parking it. I, I kind of dig that action. A little production value here. Tuk tuk driver goes mad or whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna finish this uh this chain that's below the camera that's acting as a tripod so you can see me right now I'm eyeballing eyeballing a prospect for the evening oh look at that it fits so nicely and smoothly you know one day they're gonna have these on a Hollywood set I see it sometime in the future well I'm done rambling I'm gonna set finish this Chang, and I can't really finish because this TGI Action 3 is on top of it. But it's maintaining wonderful balance, or at least I'm maintaining wonderful balance of this camera on top of this bottle of Chang. Until next time, Ray Rome's. Keep watching, and I appreciate those that do. Subscribe, like, comment, all that crap everyone else asks you to do for them. I'm asking the same. Peace. How you doing? Ray Rums here once again. And I gotta tell you, you know, for those that may have qualms about eating street food or night market food vendor stall food, you got nothing to worry about. As I mentioned before, it's a particularly slow evening this Saturday, and what these people are doing when there ain't any customers around is checking the food, re icing the food, they're wiping down their stalls, they're preparing should there be a rush of some sort uh, but a lot of wiping down and cleaning and a lot of stock or food rotation replenishing their LP supplies for their grills and or their coal checking their ice supplies I I've never once felt even slightly funky about eating street food or night market food vendor food ever ever and those that I've known that have gotten sick have eaten at four or five star seafood restaurants mostly, but nonetheless, and that's particularly odd. It's either poor handling, handling of it and or storage of it because, I mean, it's literally coming fresh from the sea, just kilometers behind me, if not feet. And uh, I would have to say that the staff of uh, the kitchen is complicit in regards to anything foodborne illnesses 